This is the Pacific Proa, Proasis. What makes her a Pacific Proa is that she got a longer and a shorter hull. The longer one is about 9 meters. The unusual looking sail is a traditional oceanic lateen with approximately 20 square meters. The shorter hull with the cabin is always kept on the windward side. This means she's not coming about like a common western sailing boat by tacking or jiving but instead performs a maneuver called shunt. During a shunt, the direction of travel changes. The bow becomes the stern and the other way around. In this video, we will have a look how the shunting maneuver is performed on Proasis and how a unique rudder system works. Let's jump right into it. Christian will demonstrate a shunt for us. First, he's releasing the sail. The boat slowly comes to a stop and assumes a stable position, almost perpendicular to the wind. While still decelerating, he's already moving forward to untie the knot which keeps the foot of the sail fixed to the hull. He's now moving the sail past the beam and the sheet, waiting for the boat to turn. Once the boat has turned, he's swiftly moving the sail over to the new front and secures it to a cleat. This move might look quite demanding, but in fact, he's mainly guiding the sail. Most work is done by the wind. Timing is important for this maneuver. Force doesn't get you anywhere here. The sail has to be moved in the rhythm of wind and water. If done right, it almost feels like a dance. With the sail set for the new direction, it's time to flip the rudders. Price has got two rudders one rudder on each end, both mounted on a pivotable frame. These triangular frames are linked by a tube in such a way that only one rudder can be in water at the same time. The end that is not needed is simply pulled up to the trampoline by a rope. When one end is pulled up, the tube locks the other rudder frame in place. The little red knob you can see on the right end of the tube is a safety mechanism that allows the tube to telescope and kick up the rudder. During shunt, the rudders are flipped by releasing the rope on the old front end and pulling up the old aft end. We made it a habit to pull up the rudder blades too, but it's not really necessary. The last thing left to do after flipping the rudders is to pull the sheet and sail off to the other direction. Let's have another look at the shunt with the drone. Like before, the shunt begins by releasing the sheet. He is now moving forward to untie the sail and push it past the beam. As you can see, Proasis is turning around. Once the wind is catching the sail, Christian is moving it over to the other end. You can really see the sail being filled with the wind, supporting the motion. This makes shunting a lot easier. Once the sail is retied, he's pulling up the rudder blade and flipping the rudders by releasing the left rudder and pulling up the right one. And again, the only thing left to do is to pull the sheet and pick up speed. Some people use tracks or rope systems to move the sail from one end to the other for a shunt. We stayed with the traditional way of shunting for a couple of reasons. First of all, because it works perfectly fine. We never had any issues, neither in strong wind nor in high waves or at night. If practiced well, it's also not a very challenging thing to do. The second reason is 
that we try to minimize the hardware in Proasis. We hardly use any metal or marine hardware. And the only ropes are the sheets, spilling lines and the hail yard. The third reason is that we prefer the unique feeling of a manual shunt. It's difficult to describe, but there aren't many other boats around that can give you this kind of experience. What do you think about shunting? Let us know down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.